Good morning. So much stress. At a certain point, you really want it to be where you're at. Dentistry, what the heck? I'm gonna be a dental student. MW 2025, baby. Yeah. Yay! Cheers. 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 If you hadn't introduced me to Andrew, it's like, oh, it's so crazy. I'm doing my mascara. I'm going like back and forth on what I want to wear. Damn, it's so bright outside. Oh, I forgot eyeliner. <gasps> this is why I woke up early so I can have like go through mistakes like this. 7:30. Oh, I still have so much time. Okay, hair is done. My makeup is done. This is my couch of outfits. Original plan was to wear. This tank top, no, this blouse, blouse sounds fancier. Black pants and then white heels. So do I want to wear the straight pants today? But I think I'd rather be more dressed up today than tomorrow. Oh, so much stress. I think it fits really nicely, but it's just like a little tiny bit long on my legs. This is a very, very cute businessy type. I'm so short in the camera. I like it. Should I change my bag? I have a black cat that I could carry. I just feel like this might get heavy. And then when this gets heavy, my shoulders get kind of red. I think I need to have more of a reality check sometimes. All I'm trying to tell myself right now is like why I'm documenting me getting ready for orientation is just to capture this like feeling of excitement and nervousness and like newness because everything's so fresh to me. So I'm documenting this so that in the future once I'm in school, um, probably stressed and complaining and like all of those things, the typical feelings you get after the high of starting school, I think... I'm definitely gonna need to be humbled to appreciate the fact that I'm in school. Like that's so crazy. I've been wanting to get into dental school and I've been trying like fully since the beginning, I think, of my junior year of college. Yo, that's so long ago. I think that's 2017. Four years. My desire to become a dentist started when I was in like fifth grade or something. Be it that was like a childhood dream like not something that i set plans out for even the thought that one of my childhood dreams is like coming to fruition is so wild to me so i just want to remind myself future Ange, and to everyone else who's in dental school that at a certain point you really want it to be where you're at whether it's stressing for exams or failing your competencies like that's all part of the process that you wanted to pursue so yeah i'm so excited to hang out with my friends and i'm sure today's gonna be a really really long day cheers for me when i meet people i go 100 percent. like i give them my full attention like my interpersonal relationships i'm very very passionate about that so consequently i give a lot of energy which is obviously good for the relationship but for my own personal sanity it's not always the best like i always end up exhausting myself so i get a little worried sometimes prior to going out if i didn't have that year and a half of learning how to be by myself and entertain myself enjoy my own company i wouldn't be able to fully thrive living by myself in my own apartment i'd probably be like itching for social interaction and like constantly going out which probably wouldn't be the healthiest for my for my own growth as a woman who lives alone 
in a new state with new people in a different time zone like dude so many changes in my life like a whole new set of friends out here that i've never met before i know one person prior to coming out here shout out to cassidy new house new car new friends new school dentistry what the heck i don't even know what it's gonna be like to study something so specialized that's so freaking exciting at least it's closer to what i'm interested in than just learning about biology and like ecosystems i don't care about tundras and taigas this one gives more like i'm here to work i'm a mother this one's cuter so i might as well go with the cuter one this is me before orientation. I'm considered a D0 right now since we haven't even gotten our ID cards. After orientation today, I will be D1 and I'm gonna be a dental student. I don't have to tell people I'm pre-dental. Ah! How exciting. Oh, we're here! <laughs> yeah, I know. Woo. Oh, my name is Christian. We're here. MW 2025, baby. Yeah! Wait, is Timmy your legal name? Yeah, Timmy was my legal name. Oh, what? is that Timothy? Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> Our first attempt. Oh, nice. We can watch this in four years. This is what CJ looked like before he was sad and tired after dental school. All right, oh. guys, Timmy's gonna teach me how to dance. Oh my god. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Introduce yourself, please. I'm Alisa Rafu. Yeah. Where are you from? Yes. Are you vlogging? I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep a little low key. <laughs> I'm too nervous. Hello, you These are my friends, guys. <laughs> I'm Irina. We were internet pals before we yes. became a real life yes. friends. I DM'd her. Yeah. Yes, we're buds. We're besties. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, hi. Uh -huh. I like a bunch of some things, but I don't know what it's going to be actually doing it. Yeah. Um, I don't like. I'm not really like salami, pepperoni. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm Debbie. Stephanie, and then Ali. Yeah. We got a chocolate chip today. We got a tea. Oh, when you guys skipped out on the table. Uh -huh. like two and a half hours. So. Oh. oh. I went to school. We're going to be in debt. Might as well be more in debt, you know? You're going to pay it off in the future. Just enjoy your experience. Yeah. <laughs> The side hustle, go to Instagram. Like if you become Oh like Instagram famous? Yeah. Or just like a Instagram dental influencer, yeah. yeah. Like at least you get free free figs or something. Yeah. I was like, that's worth it. <laughs> I make a mean banana bread. I love banana bread. Yeah. I cannot wait for this. I know Sam, I'm so excited. I, you've talked about it so much. <laughs> it's the best banana so bread in my Really? My friends ask for it. Like I come back to school right. going home, they're like, yeah. Watch your door. Do you need a room? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cheers. Cheers. I would be fine just not being. Like, look at the size of the truck. Yeah, it's not a chip. Yeah. It's a chocolate bar. It's a block. Yeah, a block. <laughs> uh huh. Like, any water after that. Mm -hmm. Really rich. <laughs> oh, so I'm sorry if you don't want to be in it. Mm. We should do a movie How night. Are you from the Ten minutes? I think it's close to you. Oh, fine. Let's yeah. Do I could rent you my balcony. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, vlog? Today was just seven, was it eight straight hours? No, seven straight hours of um, like lectures and presentations from people. I don't know if I can say fun. I can say it was very informative, which I appreciate. It's 4.35. I think the part that took the longest today honestly was just getting out of the parking lot this is so wild that we already got our id card but it looks like this insane <gasps> that's
the memories. I'm gonna keep this. I'm so sentimental with these kind of things that I can't get rid of these. If I have any tips for people who are trying to go to dental school, question yourself as to why you want to go to dental school. A big thing that hindered me from really opening up my chances to be able to go to dental school was me being picky about which school I went to because I was so stuck on like, oh my god, I want to stay in this city, I want to go to this city, I like the people here better, like all of those kind of things. Obviously, you do need to consider that since you're going to be spending four years of your life there. But I realized after a while the reason why I was so fixated on certain schools is because I think it was like my own pride to be able to say oh i go to this school it's close to my home i go to this school because this person went like you know what i mean it has like no correlation to what kind of dentist i'm going to be in the future i just feel very lucky to have been able to get here i feel so lucky to have gotten like help from friends and family who have encouraged me like dentists who have helped me to get like shadowing hours and just mentor me people who are older who are in dental school who helped me get to where i am like i don't think any of you guys realize how much it means what the heck yeah i don't think any of you guys realize how much it means to me that you guys like took time out of your day the connections that you can make as a pre-dental student are so invaluable like the connections you can make even just like off of instagram if you want it bad enough you'll do what you can with what you have to get where you want to be or to get closer to where you want to be that's how i see it if you hadn't introduced me to andrew that one day at dkc like if you hadn't physically pushed me to andrew to go talk to him because i was too shy to talk to andrew because like he was a dentist and i was too scared to ask him if i could shadow him at work like it was just like a huge snowball effect like i was scared and i have no experience and i'm just like i'm stupid i'm doing poorly in my classes and then I got to shadow him at like the dental office that holds nearest to my heart And then Andrew connected me to like five different specialists that I got to shadow and they're just like, oh, it's so crazy I don't know All of this rambling just to say I'm so thankful and Still shocked that I'm here Like it still blows my- like I live in my own apartment in a completely new state by myself going to a school where no one knows each other maybe like a few people but like the majority of people don't know each other i feel like i've already met some like <clears throat> really really good close friends i was so shy vlogging but now i feel a little bit more comfortable since i know that people are down to be in the videos and i can always just ask if they want to be in it or not and i'm excited to wear more comfortable clothes even though i love my grandma karen fit this is my dental school interview shirt orientation shirt oh, i love it okay i'm like rambling i'll see you guys tomorrow when i wake up bye